your social media strategy doesn't stop at posting. In fact, once your posts have been published, that's when the true value starts to show. Will they reach the right people or will they flop? Looking at how your posts perform is vital in order to create a stable and successful social media strategy for your business. This is why Social Bee gives you the right tools to analyze your post performance and help you deliver the best content possible over and over again. To access your analytics menu in Social Bee, from your dashboard, go to the left-hand side menu and click on the graph icon, which says Analytics. You'll see a few common elements, but keep in mind that analytic data may differ from platform to platform. First, you'll need to filter for your preferred social platform in order to get the analytics that you need to make up the best strategy for that platform. So filter your preferred platform from the top right corner of your screen and you'll be able to learn more on how your social profile performs, how your posts perform, as well as several other valuable insights. You'll also be able to choose a predetermined amount of time to see this information for. Depending on your plan, you can access up to two years worth of historical data on your profiles. So let's dive into each tab and learn more about these insights. Page Analytics will give you relevant information on how your selected profile performs. Specifically, you'll find information about the average number of posts in that time frame, page growth, impressions, profile views, reach, follower growth, as well as demographic information about your specific audience. You'll also find engagement information and for some profiles, when your audience is online so that you can publish at the right time when your audience is there to see it. Next. Post Analytics looks at all your posts and tells you how they perform. On top of that, you'll also be able to learn more about what types of posts perform better, the evolution of your posting, as well as the evolution of your reach. And you'll also find a breakdown of your category metrics and types of post metrics in order to figure out what works better for your audience. All of this data is also compared to the previous similar period below the average here. So if you see it in red, that means there's a decrease from the last previous period. Or if you see it in green, that means there's an increase from the previous period. The insights tab looks at the distribution of your content throughout the day and also looks at your top performing content. The distribution of your content throughout the day will tell you what the best time is for you to post according to when your audience is already seeing your content. You'll have a few filters available so that you can filter for categories or types of interactions that you might want. So if you want to maximize impressions, you can see what's the best time to do so. Instead, if you want to maximize engagement, you can understand what's the best time to do that for each one of your existing categories. Below that, you also have your top performing content divided into top three categories, top three post types, and top three individual posts for the time frame that you have chosen. And speaking of post performance and individual posts, let's move on to the post history where you can see individual analytic data for each one of your posts. You'll also be able to filter these posts based on best performance, worst performance, as well as chronological order. That way you have all the necessary information for your strategy to succeed. You'll also be able to see individual analytics for each one of your posts, as well as have a button to reuse this post and bring it back into your scheduling if you wanted to do so. Last but not least, if you're on a pro plan, you get the option to export your content into a PDF report. Here, you can upload a logo, add a summary, and then select the type of information that you want to include in your report. You can choose from all of the available information here. Then all you have to do is export your PDF either as a PDF or print it directly so that you can send it to whoever needs to see it. You can now use this information to optimize your content and give your audience the best experience possible. As usual, if you have any questions or concerns about your analytics or any other Social Bee feature, please reach out to our team at success at socialbee.com.